For us, games don't get much bigger than this. Saracens against Holocrons at Wembley Stadium. Eighty thousand people watching your every move. The pressure will be massive. But that's what we live for at Saracens. On the back of that massive, massive win in the LV Cup final, in rugby, you can't afford to rest on your laurels. And so with a five-day turnaround, with a short turnaround, we've got to get back on the treadmill, refocus, do what we need to do to get the performance again this weekend against Harlequins at Wembley. It's something different and it's a big occasion and there's a big crowd and that little bit of difference helps you spur you on a little bit more and want, and want to do well. I think we showed last Sunday the strength, the depth we have and our squad, but after the Six Nations, you have all the inclusion of the internationals coming back into the fold. We're blessed to have leaders all over the field, um, some incredibly experienced internationals and some great players that, that, that lead from the front, people who are world class in their positions. Right, boys, our training week starts now, doesn't it? You know, we've got to play in front of 80,000 people at the weekend. The only way that works is if we're on it now. Let's go, eh? Let's go. Come around, come around, Billy, Billy. With us as a team, you'll fit in very quickly and easily if you work hard. Right, get in the rock. Go, 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 mate. Go, mate. You've got to go. You've got to go. Hit that. Boys, we've got to switch on. We've got five minutes. Let's go. When we turn up to train, then I expect the rest of the lads and they expect me to be right on it. And the only way you're going to be any good at a weekend is if training is tough and intense. I think any coach will tell you if you don't practice your skills at uh, you know game intensity, then you're going to fall short. Obviously, when game time comes. Let's go! Let's go! Nice, great ball, on Jay. Brilliant, nice, George. That's the one, mate. That is the one. Our values are massively important to us. We actually have relationships where we care about the individuals as much as we do about what happens on the Saturday. And I think it's that kind of trust, um, that kind of deeper relationship. That although it's harder to manage in the long term, you're going to get more out of the player and they'll get more out of me. Another day in my life, eh? I think all the clubs in the world want their players to be happy, but they don't really know what it takes. To Going back to my wife and my, my two kids, one of the big perks of playing professional rugby is you get some time to spend with your kids in the early afternoon. I think a lot of people would find it quite strange when they come to the club and see how many kids and, and family members are around. Hello, sissy! The club has really made sure that the family as a whole, not just the players, is really happy. Sorry, so this is what it is. It happens when you live in England, you have kids. This is how it looks, so excuse the mess. So. <laughs> The club is not just looking at us as players, being on the pitch, playing a match, they're looking at everything as a whole. All that married together makes us work so much harder, harder for the club. It just makes you feel really wanted and a lot of players are big softies and even though they go out there and smash each other, they do just need a little bit of a hug and a kiss, you know, from whoever and for me personally, I love that and um, I'm sure they all do. to stay on and scrum and make sure we do our jobs 100% like we would have done against any other team. We would keep the ball in, keep the ball out, keep the pressure going. Jackie, you're spot on. We're going to combine the malls and the scrums this morning. Today's about graft, lads. Today we graft. We lay the foundations for the performance that we want this weekend in the next hour. Let's go and do it.
We're a club that pride ourselves on our set piece, so our scrum and a line out is a huge part of our game and often wins us games. It's at the core of what, everything that we do, so there's a definite correlation between how well our scrum does in a game and the result at the end of the game. Starting pack on this side, please, to begin with. Full hits to the first squeeze, win the ints. It's full on the engage, eh? Crouch! Bind! Chance! Two, three, four, squeeze! That's a brilliant hit, lads. Very, very good contest. Swap it round again, quick change round. The days are long, they're busy, they're tough, but ultimately they're rewarding when you play on a Saturday and you come up with the result. Height here, height. Crouch! Down. Right! Set! Two, three, four, squeeze! Keep playing! I feel like I owe the lads a lot, especially the forwards, the lads up front who are making my life a lot easier and putting themselves on the line. It's an incredible honour again to play at Wembley. And, and Harlequins are a really tough team. I've never had an easy game against them, so that's why you've got to make sure games like these that you're absolutely up for it. <laughs> They're a special group of people to do what they have to do every week, to put the heads and the bodies in that kind of harm's way, week in, week out. They have to have very strong, close relationships and trusting relationships where they work for each other. Whatever we do, we do it together. Right? There's unity in this team. On the field, off the field, whatever we do, we do as a group, we do as brothers, we do as a family. And as long as you stick together, you stick with that guy next to you, in front of you, behind you, right? nothing can go wrong on this side, all right? All of us together, always. Right, go to it. Go to it. Go. It's an absolute privilege to play at Wembley. And you never get bored of walking out in front of that many people. It's intense, the sound is deafening. As top players, you find something extra in the big occasions.